plans, got a lot of IP on me. I got a friend in my cell phone. Hi, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Yo St. Jules. And as you can tell, this setup is very different today. And that is because I am recording for my new podcast, Counted as Joy. Now, on this podcast, it's very different from my previous one. We are going to talk about topics with meanings, okay? <laughs> no more entertainment. I mean, we can talk about a little bit of entertainment, but we're going to get into some things. Some real life, day-to-day -day things, okay? Not things. Things. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the five different things that happen when you don't date to marry. Now, I, you know, I've peeped on X and threads, you know, those social media platforms that talk about people that are dating with a purpose or dating to be married. And so me, I do want to just go ahead and throw my testimony in there because in the beginning, I was never dating to marry, right? That wasn't my goal. Like I didn't have someone down my throat or a person that was telling me, you know, it's very important to date, to be married. If that is your goal to be married, right? If you want to be someone's husband or if you want to be someone's wife, you should be dating with a purpose, right? So I kind of want to just go ahead and get into the five things that you don't want to do. Okay. And that will tend to happen when you do date <laughs> without a purpose. Okay. So for one, starting with number one, if you don't date with a purpose to be married, you are going to waste your time, okay? You are going to waste all of your time because for one, we just going to talk about it, my testimony, because I'm not going to sit up here and just act like, okay, I've been holier than thou. I had the blueprint. I knew exactly what I was going to do when I got into this dating game because I did not, okay? I had no clue and it was a lot of trial and error a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of a lot of things, okay? And so in the beginning when I first started dating, it took me to be heartbroken for me to finally realize, okay, this is what dating is about, okay? It it it, it I realize sitting back now that I'm, you know, now I'm engaged to be married. It's like I sit back now and I see how much time I've wasted. So if I could just tell my testimony to someone and help them realize that you don't want to waste your time if that's what you want to do. If you want to get married, you don't want to waste your time. Because if you don't have a purpose and you don't figure out the person that you're involved with, you know, go. Y'all not like aligned on the same path of wanting to be married, you're going to waste your time. And so that's what happened to me. I was involved with an individual that was not on the same page as me. And, you know, you know, my first relationship, we were kind of on the same path. But we just didn't align with a lot of different things. And that's why it's very important to talk about things before you even decide to get engaged. So say if the person is on the same path as you, you need to talk about things because otherwise you're going to waste your time because this person, you might end up down the line. They don't want to have children. They want to be married, but they don't want children. They want to be married, but they don't want to um, work. You know, it's just different things that you got to talk about, you know, when you get married. And so... Or when you're dating to be married. And so during that time, you know, things didn't align. So I was, you know, I had the option to go date other people, right? But it was more of like me having fun type of thing and casually just dating until I met an individual that I actually fell for, but he was just not on the same page as me, right? He chose someone else and we moved on, right? So in my mind, very immature at the time, instead of learning that I could heal from that and move forward to find someone that's on the same path that want to be in a relationship, because in the beginning, you know, relationships were just at the surface level, just, okay, I have a boyfriend, you know, and, or just to say I had a boyfriend because I was single and that's what I wanted. I wanted something I never had, but didn't know that it all, it came with work, you know, it came with a lot of work. And so... I didn't want to like tie down to that after this first failed relationship. I wanted to just casually just do my thing, right? Until feelings started getting involved and this person picked someone else over me. I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and date. But if this person wants something casually, I'm not going to get my heart broken again. I'm going to date this, th that man casually. So did the whole friends with benefits thing, you know, because he wanted something casually and I act like I wanted something casually until my feelings got involved again yet again and then this time we were just not aligned he wanted to do his thing and i wanted to settle down until you know i finally got back out there and found someone that was on the same page as i 
and I am here now engaged but I'm saying all of that to just say like all that time <laughs> could have been put in energy could have been put in someone else so when you don't date to be married you're going to waste time okay so let's go ahead and dive into number two when you don't date to marry you are hindering your growth you are you're hindering your growth because it's something that you want you want to be someone's wife you want to be someone's husband right so by not like actively going after that you're hindering your growth to grow into being a husband or growing into be a wife growing in, growing into being a wife because you're casually involved with someone else and to be casual is to basically just be relaxed and unconcerned right you don't care you're just living doing your thing so it's like it's holding you back from where you're trying to go it's hindering your growth right so that's something we don't want to do okay <laughs> Uh, number three, there is no standard, okay? There is no standard when you are dating out here casually and you're not dating with a purpose, okay? It's, it's no standard. To have standard is to have like a level of, of quality, okay? So when you don't have a level of quality and you're just letting anybody come and go, it's like, baby, there's no standards here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's fly and go. You open and spread in the wide. They letting it swing and letting it hang. There's no standard here. It's casual. It's just letting it loose, letting it flow. And you know, a lot of people like to go with the flow, like to do this and that. And okay, that's fine. You know, that's you, and I'm not knocking you at all because that's just your journey and that's where you want to go and that's where you're headed in life. But for the ones like you know that I'm talking to right now that want to date with a purpose that's something you don't want to do you know you it, it you don't have no standard when you're casually out here just doing your thing you don't and so if you want this quality man or woman or lifestyle whatever you have to bring that to the table and you have to set the tone you have to be involved with people that bring that type of quality into life you have to have somebody with standards okay because when you when you i'm sorry to say it you may individually have a standard for yourself but uh, and where you want to go in life but when you're casually involved with others that are casually doing the same thing as you your relationship and dating it has no standard it's no foundation it's whatever you want to do child said don't spray it so you don't want to do that and that's what usually tends to happen when you don't have no standards okay number four you are opening the door for unwanted troubles and situations that's why they call it a situation ship okay and that sounds so crazy to me. Situationships. It just sounds so ghetto. If you ask me, it's like you you open the door for just anything to happen. Unwanted pregnancies. Unwanted drama. It's just so much that can just happen because that door is open. When you casually just do what you want to do. And, and and have sex. Because when you're casually, you're having sex. You know, you let, you're letting it all. You, 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 you're doing what you're doing, okay? You're like, oh, they're spreading it wide. Letting it hang. Letting it swing. And so... Unwanted pregnancies tend to happen and then now you look at this person because you didn't tend to you never had a future You never wanted a future with this person. It was just like a one night now You pregnant or now you didn't got this woman pregnant and you don't want anything to do with them And that's why we have baby mama drama, you know, so Stop it. Okay, if that's not what you want stop it close the door. You don't want that drama close it number five and this is our last one. I'm just gonna go to church with y'all. And I'm I'm not okay. Well, I'm not I'm not perfect. Okay, I've, I have two kids outside of marriage. Okay, I, and, and, okay. I got two kids. I was never married just yet. Okay, I, I'm 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 engaged to be be married, but we didn't have these these kids and we were not married. So I'm not here to judge nobody. Okay, I'm just telling my testimony for others to make better decisions in life. If you are wanting to date to marry, okay, these are some things you don't want to do. But it's a sin. You're fornicating. Okay. Let's just cut it down to cut it, cut it down the middle. Let's be let's be sh straightforward. I'm gonna be straightforward. You are sinning. You're fornicating, and so that's gonna hinder your destiny of being married, being someone's wife, being someone's husband. You gotta stop that, okay? You can't be out here just doing whatever, okay? 
You don't want to do that. All right. It, it, it just causes more problems on you. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a Christian and you want to live by the word, and you want God to be in your union and in the center of your relationship and your marriage. You got to be in obedience. You got to do what the word say. And so that's what I'm learning. That's what I'm doing. That's my testimony to you is, you know, if you want to do this, you got to be serious about it. It takes work. Okay, it's not going to be easy. It's easy to go lay down with anybody you want, somebody that's fine, somebody that's thick, wide, tall, whatever. Long thing, whatever you want to say, little thing, thing, long. It's it's, it, it, it's it's easy to do that. It's easy to do that. It's easy to get in bed with somebody, have Netflix and chill, do all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it takes work to want that quality and love and peaceful lifestyle. You're going to have to get out here and do the work and talk about things that are just out of the ordinary and, 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 and not like just bull crap on surface level. You don't have to get dig, dig in deep. And I'm not saying they do it on the first date. Oh, do you want children? Do you, or do you want to get married? You know, it, but the conversation do need to be had. It has to be had. It has to happen. You know what I'm saying? But not, don't scare the person away. All right. Don't scare the people away. But talk about it. Talk, people. Communicate. Let's be adults. And it sounds crazy of me just talking about this because we are adults. But it's many adults that don't, that fail. It still are failing because of this. And they're wondering why their life is going a certain way and they haven't met their, their person. It's because of these things. You open the door to let anything come in. You know, because you're casually just doing what's easy. Work. Work. Do the inner healing within yourself. And find somebody that did the same thing and get together. And I'm not saying this person is going to be perfect, whoever you find. But that's where the work comes in. And so that's all I really want to talk about today. I'm not going to keep y'all too long. My camera likes to go in and out. It does its own thing. But um, definitely, you know, subscribe, like, share, comment. If you want me to talk more about this, we can have a part two. But I got to go, okay? But just think about it. Write it down, okay? Sleep on it. And make better decisions, okay? Because we are getting older. We only getting older, older and life is too short, okay? Too short. And if you're want, you wanted to be married, date with a purpose, okay? And that's all I have to say to you. Bye-bye, my lovelies. Until next time.